Hi everyone, Miss Butt here with today's lesson. I hope you're keeping well, remembering to wash your hands and remembering to social distance, especially when you are out on your daily exercise. I hope you're exercising because I know you're working hard so you're exercising your brain because I've seen you work up on tapestry and I'm very proud of the quality of work that you have produced so far. But not only should you be exercising your brain, you should be exercising your body because a healthy brain and a healthy body makes a healthy you. Also, I hope you are being kind to everyone around you, especially the adults, because not only is it difficult for you, but it's also difficult for them. So remember to be kind because kindness does not cost a thing. So let's start our PSHE lesson. But before we start, I want to put you in a good mood. So pause the video. And I would like you to play your favorite song, your favorite, favorite song that gets you in a great mood. You can either sing along or dance along and then come back here once you have done that. I wanna see you guys in a good mood. Fabulous, well done, I hope you had fun. And now you're in a good mood and you're ready for a lesson. So before we start, I saw this poem and I thought of all of you. You are working so hard and you are doing so well. I've seen this poem. It's called Aim High to the Sky by James MacDonald. Aim high to the sky in all you do, but because you never know what it takes to be you. Be strong and be brave, but at the same time be kind and always be sure that you're using your mind. So you guys are working so hard with all your work that you're putting up on Tapestry and watching all the videos. You're being strong and you're being brave and I hope you are being kind. So this poem is out to all of you. So our LO today is, we've got three. I understand that all emotions are important. I know that I can control some things, but not others. And I can take action to affect my own happiness. So at the end of this lesson, you will be able to do all three. I want you to watch Inside Out, just to refresh your memory and your mind. I know we've seen it quite a few times. It's one of my favorite films. If you haven't seen it, I would like you to re-watch it and then come back. You've got to remember that Joy was the narrator. I want you to think about why are different emotions useful? And why did Joy think sadness was not useful? Why does she ever think that? And I also, I want you to think of how sadness saves Riley. So I'd like you to pause the video and I want you to write down your answers. Well done. So let's go through this together. By allowing Riley to feel sad and share this feeling with people around her, she's able to get help to deal with the situation as well as feeling better for not bottling up her feelings. Because we all know once we bottle up our feelings, what happens? Yes, it does. It becomes anxiety and anger. And we don't want that. All emotions serve a purpose and these lead us to behave in different ways. However, we have a choice as to the action we take given to how we feel. So if we're feeling sad, our option is we talk to someone or do something that makes us feel happy. It's very important to try and get yourself out of that sadness or that anger but it's not always possible to be happy all the time because that's not what humans do. And that's why we have all these different types of emotions. So all emotions serve a purpose and these lead us to behave in different ways. However, though, we have a choice as to what action we take given to how we feel. All emotions are important. So it's very important we cannot feel happy all the time because it's absolutely impossible. So I want you to understand that your actions, yes, your actions affect your own happiness as well as happiness of others. So if you're not happy, others are not going to be happy, especially in this type of climate at the moment. We're all cooped up in the house. We're stuck with our adults or our siblings, and there's no way we can get out. So it's really important that you, only you, are in charge of your happiness, and that affects everyone around you. But why is it important to focus on ways in which we can make a difference? Because why? I want you to write these answers down. 
So I have myself and four circles and some squares. Go back and I want you to think about with each of these bubbles, I want you to draw a picture of what would make you happy in the center of it. So if I go back, there's me and there is a circle. I hope you can see my cursor. So there's an oval. I want you to write down what would make you happy. Then I want you to write what you could do to make this happy around the image with the squares around it. You should only write down things that you can have a positive impact on. For example, what's important to you and other people, other than people, just other people being happy? Okay, so you could be good at drawing, having lots of friends, having a tidy room, eating nice food at lunch, and watching teachers' videos on YouTube. But with everything, there are things that are outside of our control and things that we can affect. I want you to think about the way that you could impact, no matter how little, one of the things you have identified and are important to you. For example, having lots of friends could be in the circle. Around it on the squares, how are you going to help doing that? So you talk to other people, be kind to them, ask them what they like to do. Or in the oval, you could write, eat nice food at lunch, because lunch can be a bit boring at times, especially during lockdown. I want you to, in the squares, you could write, talk to your parents about what food you like or what you'd like to eat. It. Offer to help with shopping and help to make lunch. I know that my children now are helping me to make lunch because sandwiches are getting a bit boring now. So, for example, I've got one here. So I have myself. I have learned to cook new dishes. I can help with the shopping. I can try new foods or even different recipes. Have good friends. So do a kind thing for your friend. For example, send them some flowers or just give them a phone call. Learn a new language. Because you, never, you can never not know too many languages. So watch a, watch a film in another language. Learn to speak it. So what I'd like you to do is to do, your similar, do a similar diagram. So I want you to draw yourself in the middle with four ovals and four squares around those ovals. I want you to write down what makes you happy and how you could actually do this. I'd like you to see, I like to see this work put up on tapestry. I know you can do it. And I have so much faith in you that you could write how many things, so many things that make you happy. Once you've done that, your homework for the rest of the week is at the same time of every day. Think of something to be thankful for. So that is something I'd like you to do every single day at the same time. So I wanna see your work up on tapestry. I wanna see that diagram. I know you can do it and I look forward to looking at it. I hope you keep safe and I will see you next time. Bye.